Like Teddy Gray on stuff, Wushi gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. Afternoon, welcome. Carrots, that is the first time I've used your guys' fandom name. Um, 17 are a group that I'm only just really getting into. Yesterday we did Fear and we did Ash. Those were two absolute bangers. I'm never going to forget them. They're in the playlist. So without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully this is another one. Woo! Hopefully the, the subtitles are yeah, as well. This came out like 10 minutes ago. Okay, so when the thought it was going to be drum and bass, and then they hit the rock shit. Let's go. Oi. See, the thing that I've noticed about Seventeen is they are constantly playing with the form, especially in the beginnings of songs. Every single song that I've listened to, even, even Super, they've always got something that sort of like draws you in, you know? I was thinking of Cheers. SVT leaders. I was thinking of Cheers. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Just playing with the form stripped away all of that instrumental, stripped away everything, the guitars, all that, all that remained was just a tiny little bit of percussion. Not even all percussion that's been present, just a tiny bit of it. I like the, um, I like at the start when he said um, that hint of a smile. Uh, that plays on your lips or something. It's like, like uh, you know how people have like microaggressions? People have like micro... What would the word be? I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's just a hint of it. It's like you see it starting. Do you know what I mean? Uh, they're on a journey. So, the, so with this music video, are they saying that 
because there's there's two things happening. There's like the end of the world scenario that's happening, but then there's also like what seems like all of my dreams are coming true, rare tear tear. So is it is it basically saying like you don't know which one of these scenarios is going to happen? So you should try and you should try and live your life like that's going to happen anyway, and do everything that you want to do today. You know. Me. <sighs> Hmm. Maybe that's what they're saying. I don't know. The sun in your heart. Warmth of your heart. Hmm. <laughs> What do they mean by the end then? Scoops, Jongen, Joshua, Vernon, Hoshi, Woozy, all you guys. I don't know everybody's name yet, so it's it's um bad luck today. Do it now. See, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Like even if things are like like you have to do things right now. You have to do things right now. That that. That must be the point of this 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 whole this whole song. You have to do things in the now. You can't wait for tomorrow. You don't even know that tomorrow is going to come. Don't be so foolish as to think that just because you're alive now that tomorrow is definitely going to come. You have to do the things you need to do today. Regardless of how you feel, you have to do them today because there could be no tomorrow. The pandemic should have taught us that. God damn. There might not be no tomorrow, you know? And it, it, it applies to anything, like a relationship. If you, like, say, oh, I've always wanted to, I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I've always wanted to do, like, indoor rock climbing. And then the next day, pandemic breaks out and everywhere's got shut down again for two years. And you lose the passion for indoor rock climbing. And you can't go and do it anymore because everywhere's shut down. You should have done it today, you know? I don't know, the person that, that, that you like or that you fancy, you should do it today because by tomorrow they could have another 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 partner or they could leave the country or something. You never know. You know, it's the whole Ross and Rachel thing. What am I talking about? Um, I like this <clears throat> for what it was and the, the nature of what it was explaining or what I believe it was explaining anyway. So at least that's the feelings it gave me. So I like it for that reason. It's not the sort of song that I would listen to on a daily basis or go back to. I don't know. Um, it's just not really my vibe. It's, I don't want to say it's too happy because that's uh, that makes me sound like I'm incredibly morbid. Um, I just don't listen to that sort of music. I don't know, I don't even know what sort of music you'd put that in. But it's like, I'm, I'm driving on the coast, it's really sunny, bunch of friends with me. <laughs> I can imagine it, but it's not the sort of music I'm listening to. Um, I like Fear, I like Ash, I like SVT Leaders Cheers, I like Super. I like a lot of uh, 17 stuff, but um, I've already been told by our resident 17 expert, Ratchet, that um, there are going to be a lot of 17 stuff that I'm not really going to mingle with, so. It's all right. I can still appreciate it for the things that I do appreciate about it. You know, one thing that I've learned on this channel, even if I don't like something, I don't have to like, shit on it or find like things to, because the first thing I go to is usually humor. So I try and like make humor out of the situation, but I don't know. I'm finding it a lot easier to uh, 
appreciate things like that. What am I even talking about? This outro has been far too long. The intro wasn't too bad this time, so we're getting there. Almost 200k subscribers later, and I still can't do an outro. I'll see you guys later. I need to